because I'm crazy. <laughs> As I've said before, because we need strong leaders making decisions. We don't need people waiting to see what we should do. We don't need people looking to other cities to see what they're doing. But we need to take a strong stand and we need to lead. So I'm doing it for my family, by the way. I'm married, almost 20 years, been in San Leandro in the East Bay my entire life. Um, so I'm running for you. And I am running because we need strong leaders, people who are not going to drink the Kool-Aid and all of a sudden change their position or, or uh, turn into a different person when they're up there. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's clear. You know, we need, we need out-of-the-box thinking. And that's not happening. Everyone's still operating and confined within this box, and I think it's time to step outside the box. So, you know, public safety, yeah, we need to work on that. But instead of hiring new officers, why not utilize the resources that exist? We have CHP patrolling our streets. We have BART police patrolling our streets, and we have the sheriff's even patrolling our seats, streets. Why not connect the dots? Let's put together, um, you know, a board of oversight, community oversight review board that would oversee all of those departments that operate in our city so that we, once again, the people are the power and everyone else are employees for us. So we need strong leaders standing up and fighting for your rights and, uh, and I'm the guy to do it. Business, uh, you know, I'm, I'm out there right now with my, my own money, blood, sweat, and tears, and the wife and family, and we are trying to make San Leandro better ourselves. And I just think that, there, that there's nothing but opportunity here. I believe I'm the right one to reach out and grab it technology-wise. Probably one of the most technology-savvy guys here from being involved in the computer, hardware, and entertainment business my entire life. Um, we need more light, nightlife entertainment, so lit, and then also live San Leandro. I feel I can be the one to foster that and I'm being kicked to the curb, but I want to serve you guys. I'm tired of straight up people getting up here and getting a position and forgetting about what they said. I am representing you and I'm done, sorry. I'm interested in serving on the city council because I'm concerned. I'm, I'm concerned that we don't have the leadership we need right now. You know, everybody's talking about um, restoring services, but no one's doing anything about our structural deficit that's going to prevent us from being able to restore those services. Our revenue has increased over the past several years, but our services have not been restored because of our structural problems with our budget, which is a $70 million unfunded pension liability, $13 million annually being spent in pensions. Um, our city employees work hard, and we made a deal with them, and we need to honor that deal. But we're not going to be able to honor that deal the way we're proceeding now. We need to make changes. We need to ask them to start contributing to their portion of the employee uh, contribution. Right now, the city of San Leandro isn't like a lot of cities. We pay 100% of our uh, city employees' contribution, as well as the employer's contribution. And it's just not sustainable. We can't hire more police at this rate. We can't restore our library hours. We can't open up, reopen our pools that have been closed. You know, our economy is improving, and it's great that the Kaiser is here, and it's, you know, as I said, it's great that we've got this loop coming, and we can't blow this, this opportunity. But until we start making the tough decisions, our growth is not going to be able to outpace this ballooning deficit we have. Um, you know, and our council just doesn't, uh, in District 2, there's been a voting record of uh, budget decision after budget decision that does not address the issue. You know, something as little as giving a $30,000 tax rebate to Kaiser. $30,000 to Kaiser would not, they asked for it, they just asked for it. Can we have our transfer, our real estate transfer tax <coughs> refunded? And the council said yes. Do you think Kaiser would have pulled up stakes because of $30,000? No. But $30,000 for library programs? Do you know how much in, in children's programs that would have funded? You know, it's little decisions like that that really matter and really add up, and we need better leadership on the council, ensuring that San Leandro is a place that we all want to live. And that's why I'm going to live. Over the past four years, we have done so much with so little. I, of course, am interested in serving again. I invested in this community. I am raising my son here. I am working every day, meeting the community members, going out, interested in 
What exactly is driving San Leandro and what we need? And I know, after sitting four years in this council, exactly what we need. We are on a deficit. Right now, we have a beautiful, we're in the black, because of the community, because you have voted Measure Z in, and we're able to use that tax. But it's gonna go away. It's going away in seven years. We're very aware of that. And so we have to think lean, we have to be, uh, use our technology, be savvy with the way that we fund our resources, and no, we're not going to have everything that we always had. But we always think on the council of the schools. We loaned 1.5 million to the school district to, to put in for their uh, possible, the Girls Inc. Uh, building coming and having a health center for the schools. We fund uh, the crossing guards. We fund the school resource officers. Gang suppression. We do a lot for the city in many, many ways. We know that we have to have our safety up. We live next door to a very high crime city. And a lot of that rolls over into San Leandro. All of those services we need, I'm vested in, those, in getting those services for all of us. I'm endorsed by the police department and the fire department both safety entities, and I'm here for the city. If it would have been wonderful to work for Measure L for the schools, but our school president wanted to come here and campaign against me, and we could have been putting all of our efforts into Measure L. My time's up. He showed me the red side.